Good morning guys, it's day six and I'm actually caught up. Yeah, so if you've been following me on my Instagram at Chris Chisa Art, uh, you probably saw me late last night posting the last two. And that's something I kind of wanted to kind of literally sit down and talk about. Um, something I kind of learned last night. I think a lot of people when it comes to inks and doing Inktober and trying to get better with inks is the fact that, oh, actually let's go over here, get that light. <laughs> Sorry, doing this on the fly. Work with inks is, can be really tense because you know that you can't race, you can't do anything to really change it in a sense. That's something that I deal with a lot too is the fact that with inks it's very challenging to do uh, just because of that because I know for me like you know I want to get that nice clean line going across really make it look nice and crisp and everything but unfortunately with me I get tensed up and then starts I get the little wiggles on my line so I don't know if you guys are experiencing that as well let me know if you are down in the comments um, I know bad face YouTube <laughs> blog but whatever <laughs> <laughs> Last night as I was working on drawing number four, which was the Garden Witch, um, I actually decided to change my mindset on it. I, rather than actually inking it the way I would traditionally ink it, I decided to use a fine point pen as if I was using it as a, color, as a colored pencil. So I was just really kind of going at it and really just kind of going through it and the results on it came out amazing. I This actually so far is one of my favorite pieces. I didn't think it was going to be one of my favorites. Comparing that with day five, which again, I actually really tried to get those clean lines and really kind of tried to perfect the lines. I have really found that it didn't look as good as I thought it was going to be. And that was one I was really excited about. I didn't really think that day four's drawing was going to be really good. For those who are out there who are doing Inktober and who are getting frustrated with um, how it looks, I would really recommend maybe trying it as a, take like a fine point and then just think of it as if you were using it, it with like a pencil or something like that. Something that, that you're comfortable with in a sense. And I guess also too, um, just don't worry about it being perfect stuff that you see like a lot of people who've been inking longer than you have like perfected you're better off just um going ahead and just experiment try try different things try different ways um i know a lot of you guys are like but you know this is a drawing that i really like and i don't want to mess with up try it with a drawing that you don't think that's gonna be as great you know you think it's okay and it might be something that'd be a throwable way or just even just ha if you have like a bunch of sketches in a sketchbook that you know like you're not gonna pursue later on that would probably be a good place to actually try to experiment with just really doing quick inks or draw start drawing with like a ballpoint pen uh, that's actually something I usually do a lot especially if I don't have like a pen so on hand or anything I like sometimes to draw with a pencil but yeah I just wanted to quickly put together before I jump on the train um, my thoughts with the drawings last night and something and some stuff that I wanted to share with you guys in a sense um, but yeah what has been some kind of struggles that you've been guys been having as well with Inktober um, I'm really curious actually because I know I have a lot of stuff when it comes to inks that I'm trying to better myself with and I think I've found a style of inking that I really want to pursue for the rest of Inktober that I might apply to my Molly's Follies comic as well as it, um, my colored pencil sketches and whatnot. I'm really curious about what struggles you're my having and what things that you've been liking about Inktober and what things you don't like in Inktober. So yeah, leave them down in the comments. I'm curious. So so until next video, guys. Catch you later.